Gonna crack another big egg. So let's see, two yolks. Yeah, it has two yolks. Yeah, it has meat spot in it too. There's my breakfast, one egg. Two for one. All right, ladies, you've got to get out. I was just trying to bring the groceries in. Here, go outside with the rest of them. Look, you can go out the back door. Go out the back door. Come on, Chick Chick. Come on. Oh, boy. Okay, hang on. Ladies. Come on, come on, follow me. Come on. No, you guys not coming in. There's one out. You're gonna have to come to the other side. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta get, you stay out. Come here, lady. Come here, come here, hon. Come on. Whoa. Okay, I got her. Oh, that's not a very good. All right. Here. I'll give you some of these. But don't be coming in the house. There. Oh, it's fun. Oh, I was packing groceries in. Look down, I had two chickens in here. Boy, why is that so dark? Oh, something happened. Anyways, packing groceries in to the garage. Flicked down, had two chickens in. But I got them out. Now I'll go shut the garage door before more come in the garage. Well, I'm excited that I have a pressure canner now. But I've been so busy that I haven't even taken it out of the box. So later today, I think I'm going to take it out of the box and start learning how to can. Uh, never done it before. Used to help my mama a little bit, but she never really, I don't think she pressure can. I think hers was all water bath years ago. Everything she done, so. I'm excited, I'm gonna get it out of the box later. Just wanted to show y'all why I haven't made very many videos. We've been working on a house in town of ours, We're trying to get it finished and up and on the market. So the kitchen was totally gutted, one bathroom and parcel on the other bathroom and just repainting and redoing. There's not a speck of nothing that's not gonna have new paint on it. Laying floors. This one hadn't been laid, but it will get done. But that is what I have been doing during the week. We go home late at night and feed the cattle and the water them and feed the chickens and shut them up and get up the next morning and go at it again. There you can see all our tools that we have to go outside and Cut. We did have them on the inside, but we got down far enough. It was making such a mess. We need to start painting, so they're on the outside. It's a beautiful day outside today, but I wanted to let you know what I've been doing, and when I when we get this finished, I'll have a lot of before and after showing what we have, what all we've done. All right. The other day, I showed you where I. Had, my canner came in and it was sitting on the counter and I hadn't even opened it. Well, I have it open and I'm trying my hand at, oh, my niece is here helping me, at beans, pinto beans, or what are they? Brown beans. I always Brown call them. pinto beans. Brown pinto beans. Yep. So, I'll let you know how they turn out. Let's see what do that. Camera's catching her on. Oh, we, it must be because it's cold and the ground is warm. I don't know why the ground would be so warm or vice versa. Because the air is not warm. That's weird. I've never seen it in a big of an area like that. I think it's 
Well, I've seen fog, you know, laying, but not moving like that. That's the only place it's doing it. Uh-huh, it's right there where he's got that wheat planted. How weird. It's pretty. Zoom in on it, see if I can see it moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, they turned out good. They're starting to seal. I've been here and pinging. So I think my first canning experience was a success. I am so over winter, but winter is far from over. And we really haven't had what you call precipitation. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, but the trees are coated with ice. And I know in town, the schools are closed. Ground's crunchy, and when I went to let the chickens out, it was slippery, so I had to be really careful. But it was mainly caused from fog. And I think it's about 16 degrees out right now, and I think our high today is going to be 18. And this is Monday, and I think Saturday and Sunday the high was supposed to be 10, and we're falling down below zero. And it's not going to reach, according to the forecast, we are not going to reach freezing above or f even at freezing until a week from this Wednesday. So that's another nine days of really, really bitter cold. And I feel so sorry for the chickens and cows and the donkeys. I hope they're made for this, because I know I'm not. I opened up a jar of the beans that I canned the other day because I wanted to make some uh, refried beans. And I, I also wanted to taste these and see how they turned out because I've never done it before. And they're cooked perfectly and taste good. So I'm going to make me some refried beans so I can make me a tostada for my dinner. <laughs> 